Hi, I'm Lindsay with American Patchwork and Quilting, and I just want to say hi and welcome to the 2021 American Patchwork and Quilting UFO Challenge. This is our seventh year doing this challenge, so we just wanted to say thank you for everyone who's been joining us year after year, and welcome to all of our new participants. This year is going to be a blast. So, we wanted to take a little time to explain how this year's challenge is going to work. The first thing you want to do is download the official uh, UFO challenge download sheet, which you can find at the link in this video description. So what it looks like is this, and it has room for 12 different projects for you to fill in. So you can pick 12 different UFOs you want to tackle this year. Now, there's nothing saying that you cannot print multiple of these lists. So if you have way more than 12 and you want to tackle more than one a month, that is totally fine. Print as many of these as you want. We know in the past, some people have used it for um, one list for their piecing, maybe one for quilts that still needed to be quilted or bound, charity projects, even block of the month or mystery quilts. So download as many as you need and fill out the sheets. At the beginning of each month, we randomly choose a number, and that number corresponds to one of the 12 numbers on this list. So for instance, if January 1st, we choose number five, you will work on your fifth project for the entire month. Now, some people like to switch things. We know there's no rule saying you can't. So if for some reason you are really needing to finish one of the other projects on your list for an occasion that popped up, a birthday, a holiday, just switch things around. We're not judging. There's no quilt police here. We also have a private Facebook group for those that want to do a deep dive into their UFOs and need that little extra support. So there are a few benefits to being involved in the Facebook group. One is we are releasing the numbers two days before the uh, beginning of the month so that those that belong to the group have time to jumpstart the next month's project if they're kind of waiting for that next number, or even just gather supplies and get ready so that they're ready the first of the month to get going. So that's one of the incentives. And new this year for the Facebook group is each month we're also going to issue mini organizing and storage challenges. So if you also need help uh, organizing your space, getting your workspace clean, organizing your UFOs or tools or fabric, we're going to issue little challenges each month for you to participate in. It's totally optional. It's not required to be in the UFO challenge, but just an extra little thing this year to help extend this, you know, finishing to other areas of your sewing life so you can feel really good about sewing and the projects you're completing. We're looking forward to a very productive year of sewing and finishing those UFOs in 2021. So of course, visit the link in this video description for even more details, the link to the PDF download for the list and to join us in the Facebook group. We can't wait to spend this year sewing with you.